All right, Jesse, thank you very much. All right. Is that old toy in your attic or patio a treasure or is it trash? Well, jo Joel McGee is at the Courtyard Marriott by the airport this weekend with his antique toy buying show. Yes, yes. Joel, how are you? Very good, how are you? All right, so I'm thinking people at home right now are thinking about all those boxes they have of toys somewhere in the house. Yes. We'll get to some of the examples in just a minute, but first, why don't you set the table by explaining what qualifies as a toy that you'd be interested in looking at? Generally, if it's a toy from the 1970s or older, that's the toys that we're looking for today. And uh, we sneak into the 80s with Transformers and Star Wars. Um, but uh, if it's something that you had as a kid and you're probably about 40-ish to 50-ish right now, then that's what we're looking for generally. All right, let's take a look at some of the examples that you've brought in. Uh, I'll let you do the first pick. Uh, pull one from the, the uh, stack here. It's what I had when I was a kid, a Hot Wheels car. All and right. they're still popular today. These came out in 1968. And the ones we're looking for have little red lines on the wheels. And, uh, you know, this is something that's timeless. You just can't, uh, people can't get enough of Hot Wheels. And a, a little uh, Hot Wheels car like that, what might you price that at? Uh, this particular one in this condition, right around 25 to $30 for a single really? car. This one's like near mint, which is amazing. And I was telling you that I'm really into airplanes, so I'm interested in this TWA uh, yes. airplane that you brought in. But I'm going to be very careful <laughs> because the engine is falling off. But is this toy still worth something? We're going to make it fly again. Um, a lot of what we do is restoration, and uh, we're going to get this fixed up. And that's why we tell people they don't have to be perfect. Um, we, uh, we get them fixed up and ready to go for collectors, and uh, airplanes have a big passion with a lot of people. I know a lot of boys especially are yes. going to have G.I. Joes somewhere around the house, but I'm guessing very few have them still in the package. Yes. If you're lucky enough <laughs> to still have something in the package, what does that do for the value? This particular one, it makes it $60 just for that particular one piece. Uh, it's amazing that it's in the package, but uh, they don't have to be. But uh, it adds to the value if they are, and uh, that one uh, is in a really nice package. All right, we've talked about some of the things to bring in. As you're going through the boxes, are there things that if people are finding them, you would say, that's maybe something you don't want to even bother bringing in? Yes, Beanie Babies and Cabbage Patch <laughs> Dolls. Uh, that's, uh, that's something that uh, kind of was a fad at the time, and people kind of went crazy. So we, we tell them to leave them for another day. Uh, let's get to one more. You've got Ken and Barbie here. Again, yes. a lot of little girls that are now adult women yes. probably have some old Kens and Barbies. And still have a passion for their dolls. Barbie and Ken have been iconic since the uh, early 1960s, and they still are today. And that's the beauty is that we can share our toys with our children and uh, literally share our experiences from, from when we were kids and have our kids appreciate them the same today. All right, very cool stuff, Joel. I bet you're going to see a lot of interesting <laughs> things down there today. Let's take a quick look at the address where you can find Joel to bring your things in for appraisal today, the Milwaukee Toy Buying Roadshow. Now until Monday, the Courtyard Marriott, again, this is down by the airport on South 5th Street. And if you would like more information, you can log on to our website, tmj4.com. Click on links. Here is